Queen Creek Tunnel is located uh, east of the valley. Um, and basically what it was is it was a tunnel that connected Phoenix to uh, Globe. Globe is a famous uh, copper mining town. That's pretty much why Globe exists. Um, they ran a lot of rock trucks and different vehicles to be able to service that copper mine. The challenge with the tunnel was the, the existing lighting system was, was outdated, to be frank. The issue with the tunnel was that it was uh, lit from the sides. And you have large mining vehicles traveling through the tunnels as well as tractor trailers carrying large loads. And they would frequently strike the fixtures, knocking them off the wall. So uh, ADOT, wanting to upgrade that as well as the electrical system, decided on the Hall of Fame Tunnel Pass LED light. And fortunately, with the uh, Tunnel Pass optics, we were able to achieve that and light it to the uh, RP standard. Technically, you could light the tunnel with less fixtures. Um, the, the light output obviously is a lot brighter, a lot wider. Um, this lighting is controlled as well. It has a control system. That control system um, can be adjusted remotely. And so um, it, that's a criteria for during the day to be one um, level of light and then at nighttime to be another. Obviously to go from, it was high pressure sodium to uh, LED is not only cost effective to the state, but um, uh, again, the, the color helps the drivers. You know, it's a safety, it has a major safety issue to it. The, the priorities of this tunnel was obviously for ADOT to, also, to increase their lumen level while also decreasing their, their energy bill. They were able to achieve this by, by going with an LED solution with full dimming controls. From a maintenance standpoint, um, ADOT's going to benefit um, tremendously from, from where the lighting system is and through the LED technology. As we all know with older lighting systems, you're constantly relamping, you're installing ballast. Um, it, with LED, it's you, you get the longevity, plus you get the, the quality of the light level. I'm going to probably say that they're going to notice, um, the first thing that they would notice right away would be, um, I think there's some clarity now to it. Um, I, that's what I really noticed as I was driving through it, um, that uh, the the color rendering from the lighting has given um, much brighter, clearer vision to as far as the driver's concerned. I think again, thinking from a safety standpoint, it uh, uh, it's made that tunnel much safer than it was. By upgrading it to this product, it's made it uh, um, much clearer to drive through. With the completion of the uh, LED lighting and controls in the Queen Creek Tunnel, uh, ADOT's brought this into the 21st century positioned it for continuous use, safe use, for many, many years to come, uh, and eliminated both safety and lighting hazards that uh, they no longer have to deal with.